Well, hey guys, welcome back to Care Creek. I'm Jeremy here in Southern Ohio. Finally back over here at the mill shop. I've spent all my time at 2.0 getting that daggone place ready. The inside is almost done. All we've got left to do is build a light fixture, which we're going to do today. And we've got to do those stairs. The wood is dry from the kiln for those stairs, the walnut and ash. We are upon Monday evening, the Vegas week. We leave Thursday morning for Vegas. While you're watching us right now, I'm actually in an airplane with Rondo and the gang heading to Las Vegas, Nevada. Rondo's big debut out in Nevada. So guys, let's jump into this light fixture and we'll show you what we're doing. And we're taking an old piece of junk wood that we salvaged from that barn we was tearing down a few weeks ago. We're gonna try to make something cool. Do I know what I'm doing? Hell no, I don't. But we're gonna figure it out, come on. So here is this being the, my best ability. I think it's American Chestnut. I really do. And I've just been so intrigued with reading about American Chestnut its demise and hopefully return one day but how it was a popular wood that was used it grew everywhere so this bar beam is obviously from the 1800s and we've got some junk sides some good sides definitely got a lot of character a uh, lot of character so basically now we're trying to piece it together we're trying to to invent and create out of our own little wood our own ideas here now we're going to get our layout where we drill we're going to wrap this top up for the, to hide the wires get our holes drilled for our sockets, and then we'll go ahead and put a clear coat on it, we'll put a heavy clear coat on it, and then I'll show you my, my hangers I've got out of black iron. This is definitely not a tutorial on how to build this, but I'm pretty confident after watching today's video, you either A, know a little bit more about it, or B, say that was a stupid project. Either way, we're gonna do something. All right, now we're gonna go over our component. We have these dowels, these hollow rods. We'll drill through that beam, and these are threaded on both ends. These are our sockets, obviously. So we'll drill through, then we lace this wire, and this will screw on. This will be actually hold the light fixture up. So looking from the beam, you'll just see this part here. And I got these uh, cages. I don't know that Miss Kimmel liked those, but uh, so basically we've got to route out a channel on the top to hide all these wires, tie them all together. We got some various splices here. I think now we've got some woodwork to do. Here comes Big Pig Daddy getting ready to fly out of Cincinnati. Look how good he looks. He just smiles more. I went ahead and called out the Vegas this morning. Maybe told him he's coming, so they could be start getting prepared. Most people probably left this dry before they started this process. <laughs> <laughs> but we gotta get this shit done so we can get to Vegas. Yeah, get rich. <laughs> All right, we've made it to 2.0, as you can see. Let's get this out of our way. Um, tightening up some electrical stuff here is all we're doing. Definitely not giving electrical instructions. And as I finish this electrical process of this, let's go ahead and check out the JSS segment. And at the end of the video, we're gonna show you some preparations that Rondo's in D, getting ready for our Vegas trip, which when you're watching this video, we are actually, this is the day of. I'm releasing this Thursday. Thursday's when we roll off to Vegas. So please, 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 if you're watching this Thursday or Friday or Saturday, leave us a comment. Tell us what you wanna see in Vegas of Rondo because Rondo goes to Vegas. The inspector, you think he'll find anything wrong out on the Vegas streets? Tropicana Avenue, here we go. Another JSF experience, ladies and gentlemen. We've got this old rickety catch basin on the side of a busy street here in our hometown of Chillicothe. What are we getting into? Hell, I don't know yet. We're gonna get some cones up, get this traffic situated and start digging into it. This particular stretch of road has several of these catch basin type structures and they've all started to fail. So maybe if we do a good job on this one, we'll do them all. Hmm? Here comes the tricky part, getting out. Step one to a four. 
Well, we got this whole thing formed up. We are gonna have to break it down in three trips. First trip, concrete, kind of the base. Uh, you'll see more as we go, but it's just a crazy system how this one's done. We're trying to match some other ones. So we got concrete coming now for this part of the project. The lid, we'll set it tomorrow. And then we'll have to come back in and, and finish the sidewalk cap around it. Make it all pretty. But you can see down here, it's really voided out underneath the road. So that's back out under the pavement. think about that one we're over here on Western Avenue we're about to do some concrete and yeah come on all right here you go guys we got her all done you can see we poured the sidewalk got that prefabricated cap down so it looks good right got this job all done that's the JSF experience today guys back to Cannon Creek Build a light fixture. Come on. Now we're nearly ready to try to figure out how we're going to hang this. But where this timber, this hand hewn timber, is just obviously not perfectly square, we've got to make sure this hanger and that hanger are dead nuts off. And they're both off. So we're going to have to figure out how to shim or tighten these so that when we put this against the wall, these both set flush to get our most strength and then obviously look good. Because right now, if you look down through there, the first one's tilted a little bit left and the other one's a little bit right. you <laughs> all right drum roll rondo's been dying to electrocute me he's been wanting to hit the switch so okay. rondo go ahead and hit the switch okay turn him off rondo there's the focal point i think the walnut stair treads once we get those done will also complement that so as you walk up here I think the tone of our new light fixture will match the walnut. All right, Rondo, any parting words before we leave for Vegas? Well, we're heading home. <laughs> we're going to go. Rondo's got to sleep two more nights in his own bed before he goes to Vegas. So, guys, to recap this video on our little light piece here, I think it turned out fantastic. A couple things I did not like. This beam is 7 inches by 7 inches when it's hand hewn. This is a real beam. Uh, I think the value of this would probably be three or four hundred bucks if you could buy something like this. Anyways, that seven inch thickness, I didn't have a drill bit long enough to go all the way through to get plumb for the rods to go through. So the couple of them was off a little bit, which I think I've got to tweak just fine on that part. The only thing left to do now is the stairs. The one upstairs with the ash treads and the inside will be complete. Miss Kim's got a wide open canvas here to start her part. Now, I know she started by a couch and screw other things. As you can see, we got the appliances in. So she's really gonna have to clock in, man. She hates it when I say clock in. 
Miss Kim, lock in. So she's going to do decorations, coffee makers, utensils. That's all going to come. I've got a lot of work to do on the outside, but I feel good about the inside. As we're moving into spring, nicer weather, I'm excited to get back outside and get this baby wrapped up. A long time ago, I think I said we'll have this done in April. Well, April was just a few days away, and I didn't completely hit our marks. Now, we've had a rough couple weeks with some things happening in our family. Uh, we're still working through that, but uh, that's all i got to say about that. We're going to close this video with some Rondo, getting his hair cut, getting some things ready for Vegas, and then at the very end of the video, I'm going to play some pretty little music, and I'll take you a little tour around the Airbnb up to this point on the inside. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for working with us. Cam Creek, our new light fixture. Over now. Vegas. You have anything to say, Rondo, before you get your hair cut? Yep, five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go to Vegas. No, don't pull on his beard. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Rhonda, you feel good about it? Yeah. Oh man, you look good, buddy. <laughs> Look at that.